Welcome back to the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty and for the first time, the first time in this dynasty, we are ranked number one in the country. We are the best team in college football and it's showing this season as we have ran the table so far. We've beaten a bunch of really good teams at the beginning of the year and we look to continue to go down that path as the seasons continue on. And hopefully we can continue this upward trend. Today we're taking on the New Mexico Lobos in a Mountain West Conference showdown. And if you guys are excited, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. As uh, taking a look at everything, this is a this is going to be a very defensive matchup. Um, lots of defense to go around. Like we're number one at stopping the run. They're number five. They're number we're number 65 in the stopping the run or stopping the pass, but they're also number five in that. They're number two overall in defense, which is really impressive. Um, they have a really good running game, uh, which we have we have the ability to stop. So if these two worlds collide, we could have ourselves a great defensive game today. Um, I'm hoping that it, that's the case because I don't want to get into those shoot those things called shootouts. Those are horrible. Um, we have a lot of recruits coming in now. Uh, we had a few more commits. We have a fullback who is a more of a blocking type fullback, but that's fine um, He that's pretty much what he could be used for um, Tony Johnson the offensive tackle we, we might redshirt him for a, a season or two uh, Dave Daniels we got an outside linebacker. We got a middle linebacker and we still we have another quarterback coming in William Cummings 76 speed so he has a lot of potential and growth in this on this offense in this scheme especially uh, maybe he'll be able to get up to like an 80 speed by the time he's a starter. Who knows? Uh, David Johnson. And we got a lead for him there. And now we have a lead for David Thompson and Matt Fulton and Robert Curry. Now we're going to be working on Ricardo Guillory, Brandon Scott, and some uh, Tanner Walton. All those guys can be probably redshirted. Uh, but nonetheless, a lot of good things coming into Minnesota State. Uh, top 25 polls. Obviously, we're the new number one. Auburn did not lose, by the way. They won, but uh, we have the more impressive resume, obviously, um, and that's why we're number one now. Uh, Auburn number two. Virginia, with 11 first place votes, is all number three. And Auburn didn't get a single first place vote. LSU four, Stanford five, six through ten is Ohio State, Florida State, USF. Um, Georgia and Clemson, 11 through 20, is uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Miami, Iowa, TCU, Oregon, uh, who's still undefeated, getting no love in the polls at all. Uh, Virginia Tech, Florida, Rutgers, uh, and California, who's number 20 and still undefeated. 21 through 25 is um, Michigan, Navy, Wisconsin, Penn State, and... Um, the USC brain farted a little bit there, uh, but that's the Southern Miss game. That was a that was a ranked game last week, but looks like Auburn or not Auburn, but Penn State uh, really took care of business. Other receiving votes go to North Carolina, Southern Miss, South Carolina, Texas A and M, Ole Miss, uh, North Carolina State, Illinois, and Duke. Wow, Duke's in there, even though without Jan Daniel Jones. Uh, conference standings look like this. Undefeated. The only undefeated team left. Uh, we're facing off against a very good defensive Mex New Mexico team. Uh, so, we, like I said, we got to be ready for this one. Uh, this, this is going to be one of those tough games. Uh, Air Force is 3-2. and two. Boise still 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Wyoming and Utah State 3-2. and two. Colorado State 2-3. and three. In the western half, we have Hawaii in, at 4-1. San Diego State 3-1. UNLV 2-3. Uh, Fresno State two and two, Nevada two and three, UMass at one and five, and San Jose State at zero oh and four. Goose eggs across the board for them. So let's take a look here at the Heisman watch. Here Heisman watch is Aiden Cooper at the top. He had 170 rushing yards last game. That is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. He went 18 of 23, five touchdown passes, one on the ground last week. We hope to see continue that type of production today. Um, it's obviously going to be pretty tough today against uh, against a really good um, San Jose or New Mexico defense. 
Um, again, the conference prestige is a little, it's still a little wacky considering that they have us projected near dead last. It's almost like, how do you go from this to this in a year? It's just how the game works. I have no idea. But with that all being said, of course, let's get on with this game against New Mexico. It should be a fantastic football game. I will see you guys on the football field. And we are underway here again from Mankato. Wow, that's going way to the right here on that kickoff. Smith fields at the goal line. Uh, we ran right into the pile. <laughs> that's not good. But we still got anybody of this caliber yet. Seeing that number one right beside our name. Oh, we've earned it. We have 100% earned it. Oh, man. Manny Freeman of the guy game. They haven't faced anybody this good yet. Oh, man. Oh, good, good, good. Good run. Beautiful. I don't think we're going to get another 170-yard performance out of that again, but out of Aiden again, but you never know. Come here. Alex Sand. Oh, he's breaking tackles. Gain of 19. I suppose. That's, what it's ha that's what's happening. I don't think they faced anybody this good yet. Manny to the outside. Gain of, gain of thir 12, 13. Oh, my goodness. Manny's on a tear this first drive. They haven't faced anybody of our caliber. Oh, bro, I threw it to the wrong guy. God dang it. Should I go for it? We're at the one. I'm feeling confident. Or not. Wow, goal line stand. Safety! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Jackson Lockwood is a... He's the best linebacker in the country. Safety! 2 nothing. We didn't get the third down the last time, but... Hey, we're going to get it this time. You hear me? We're going to get it this time. Perfect. That's all we needed. I mean, we have three good runners on this offense. Possibly four. And Manny is just tearing it up this first quarter. Tearing it up. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. There you go, Aiden. Come on. There you go. Ah, oh, Jaden, come on, dude. You got to come down with that one. That's your bread and butter. That's our bread and butter play, man. We got to get those down. Okay, now we take the field goal. Five nothing. It is five to nothing. Oh, man. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Come tackle him now, not 20 yards later. Hey, somebody's gotta cover the guy in the middle. There's obviously a place for that, and no one was there. Screen. Yes, good coverage. Good coverage, good coverage. Kicks up and it's good. Five to three. to the ten. Oh, he's gone. Down the sideline. Or not, but we still got a good good field position. Oh, Sanders, give me a first down. Oh, thank you. Just enough. They were sending the house on that. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, Joe, come on. Come down with that, dude. That was in the end zone. Touchdown. Too easy. 
Eleven three. <laughs> Come on, guys! Jesus! What are we doing? Holy shite! What was that? We can't be getting into these kind of plays, man. We, I'm, I'm slowing the game down. So infuriating. It's so infuriating. Henry Dillon is such a boss. None of these guys can catch today. And he's taken down at the 40 yard line. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. 19. First down. <laughs> Time out. Third and short, and they complete on the 30. Back to the end zone. Come on, Kelvin. Oh, what a grab! Touchdown! Oh my god. Come on, guys. This could not happen again. This is getting ridiculous. What is up with the cover three not working again? Tackle him! Oh my god! This is the most pathetic defensive display I've seen all season. Today. Oh, what a grab! Alex Sanders touchdown! Then he makes up for it the very next play in a catch in stride. Come on, Jackson. Good God. It's not happening. Jeremy Ross, who we uh, turn around for the ball, maybe? I have no idea. There was literally. Fourth down, incomplete. Let's go. He's out of bounds right there. That's incomplete. That stands. He's short anyway. It doesn't matter. He's short. He's short. You, he's short. Intercepted. Oh my god, perfect. What we have all been waiting for. Holy smokes. Quarter number four. He was down. Come on. He was down. The refs are messing up this game. Fourth quarter is where we shine. Another sack. There we go. He's out of field goal range. And that'll be the second time Fourth and 26. You're fool anybody if you're trying to do a screen pass. He's under some heat. Once and all, going deep. You gotta be kidding me! How bullshit is this? I'm I'm calling it. That's bullshit. You gotta be able to make a read. Get up field as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around. And Calvin wants to overrun his route by a mile beyond me. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's out to the 30. Not a tackle is made until the very last friggin' second. You're gonna get third and 18. You're not getting this, and you're not getting the fourth down either. That fourth that last fourth down was absolutely stupid. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Got 
They're not getting this fourth down. And they get it. Of course they get it. Of course they get it. And of course, no one's covering the screen. I had a cover, I had somebody on the screen, but I didn't know which way he was going. So that was my bad. And of course, gotta pull some magic. First down again. Here we go. 37 seconds. Down by six. Kelvin Wiggins again. Man cannot be stopped. Oh my god, what a dart. What a dart. Holy smokes, dude. This would be this would have been a 63-yard field goal, I think. I'm going deep. Not happening. Not today. Get out of here. We win again. Ugh. God, Jesus. A great game here today. That was that was more ridiculous than it should have been. There was a lot of crap thrown at me that game, and I I, I was just it's just not the way I want a game to be played. That was complete ludicrous and ridiculous gameplay from beginning to end. And I'm glad this one's over because we just we are we're now seven and zero. That's all that matters, I guess. I didn't want the shootout, but that's what happened, and we are not a better team because of it. That's for sure. We played like crap. But if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. Until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. Peace out.